Yo, 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 what is up, what is up, it's your boy Legos27 here, and today I got a kind of a special video for you guys, so, as you guys can tell, I have a gaming chair, and before you've probably known, I've been sitting in a regular, like, office chair, and if I didn't tell you, well, I have been, it was one that I've had with no armrests, um, and so I decided, you know what? I'm gonna give you a gaming chair. Now, this is like one of the coolest gaming chairs I've had so far. It's called the Decino Gaming Chair. If you can see that, the Decino. Um, and there's a lot of cool features that it has on this gaming chair that you probably wouldn't be, you'd probably be shocked about. One of them being that it has a footrest. So let me see if I can scoot back here and show you guys. Let me just lower this down here. There we go. Just lower that down. And you can pull this out. And you can easily just get your feet up. Like see, I need to show you. So all I would do is if I'm sitting right here, right? I would ultimately pull this out, this back, recline, and also it reclines too, so I can recline and just relax, just like this. And this footrest is one of the bigger footrests out of the ones I was looking at, because I was only look, looking for one with a bigger footrest, because I wanted to. And I figured it would probably be better in the long run, and sure enough it did. Um, although I've only had it for a week since I got it last week on September the 11th, 2019. And that's one of the features it has. Now, Also, what it can do is, let's see here, I'm going to go over here like this and scoot here because this thing can recline all the way back. Now, it doesn't go like all the way to the floor, but it goes 180, like 180 degrees as it says. And so now I'm going to pull up the footrest. And take a little snooze if I wanted to. Although I've never put it back this far, but it's possible to do this. Now the first time I actually tried doing this is when I first put it together, I was like, holy crap. But then I was like, whoa, am I gonna fall off? And you know, I was scared for the first time. It's kinda like it's crazy. But it actually supports your weight. But so put this in here. Now, also, if you guys can tell, see here's the armrest right here. This thing can go down or up, side, which means it can go in or out, however you like it. So I could put both armrests down like this. I can have them both up like this. If I was gaming, I'd do like this because I can hold the controller with my arms like this. Otherwise, regular chairs can go weird just like this. Because since they move in, it makes it easier to either say play on your phone or have a controller and play PlayStation or Xbox or I don't know. PC, whatever you like to play, or type, whatever, you know. I usually like to keep these up, and it's got a headrest, which, let me go ahead and put this back up here. 
so I can show you guys. As you guys can tell, it's got a headrest. Um, but it can go, let me see if I can do it, down and up. But I always do like a little bit so I can sit with my feet flat by the ground and everything. Um, but this chair has been pretty good so far. Um, well, I've had it for a week. And also, it came with a lumbar support pillow on the back, but I generally don't tend to use that. The main time I would use it if I'm like on a computer or something like typing or just using it for, for just a regular office chair, but since I'm like watching movies and TV shows and, you know, in the future playing some video games, I think I'm going to leave that off. Although it does feel good though, if you're using it right as an office chair, like I said, but I just leave it off. I mean, I can show you, like, here's what it is. The Sino. And I can strap it on for you. So, I would put this on like this, if you wanted to put it on. Through here. Make sure these aren't like tangled up or anything. And there's a little space so you can easily pull it out if you don't want it. You put that through behind here. And then you take the first one, you just take it and you clip it on. Which I think is pretty easy. And I like that option if you wanted to take it off, you can. Because what if you got a got a chair and say it has built in, then you didn't like it. You couldn't really take it out, but you just kinda of stuck with it. But this, however, you just use it through behind the chair and you easily can have it as a use it for whatever you want to use it for. Yeah, it's just kind of tangled up here. So, I just gotta untangle like this, like so. Okay, now I think it's not tangled. Then you put it, there, yeah, it's not tangled now. So, I would put this up behind the chair there we go and now this is how it would look if you were using it as a regular office chair so like but see it also can Trade you out of the chair a little bit. So, like, I can have it like probably more so like this, kind of. And so, I'd probably use it. Um, nothing it does is it does support your back, but it seems kind of a little excessive if you're like gaming or something and you want to like recline back and take a little snooze or something if you're waiting on your gamer friends to get back on or something or watch a movie or you take a little nap which actually on the thinking of that I actually took a nap about a 30 minute power nap or so 30 minutes or whatever and it it's so comfortable I actually took a nap in it now when I got this chair my main features were to get like a the footrest. I'm just kind of scrolling through like Amazon and stuff like that, just kind of looking. And I decided to get this chair. Um, and I'd say for the money, which I only got it for, it was a hundred, but with like tax, it's like 20, 30. So 
around $150, I'd say it's worth your money. Now, if you're wondering if I'm getting paid or anything by these reviews or whatever, I'm not getting paid whatsoever, or I'm not getting asked whatever to eat. Like, could you do a review on this, whatever? This is just me telling how how I like it or dislike it or whatever else. This is just my opinion. So if you don't if you don't like it, then that's just up to you. I'm just a buyer and I'm just telling you what what I don't I mean what I like and don't like about it. But <laughs> this chair I'm gonna assume it's gonna be good in the long run with three plus hours of gaming, which I'm gonna try in like a month or so, and I'll let you know about that. And then next year, on September the 11th, 2019, I'm gonna do a one year later video, so expect that next year. But without further ado, this has been my review of the Decino gaming chair with the footrest. It's called the Sino foot the Sino gaming chair. Um but you can easily you can you can easily do all the things you think of. The one thing it doesn't have, which I wouldn't think is necessary, is a massager, massage lumbar pillow. I did see those options but I was like, you know what? Why would I? I don't think I'd use it. But who knows? I may get one with a massager and love it. But as of right now, I wanted to get this chair with the money I got. So I decided to get this chair. But that's all I have to say, guys. Hope you enjoyed my review of the Decino gaming chair. Um, if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe for more content down below, click the bell notification to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Um, I'll be doing a video of what I'm going to announce in 2020, like sometime in 2020, probably like January or whatever. I'll be doing that, um, and that should be it, but that's all I have to say guys, but peace out.